like drowning. Uh, that's as close as I can come. Uh, I, I, I was a scuba diver years ago, and, uh, and that's exactly what it feels like, like running out of oxygen underwater. It's just uh, I was on, on uh, oxygen continually. I had a generator in the house and a 40-foot tether, and I wasn't going anywhere. And I, and I really thought my life was over. In fact, I ran out and bought a uh, cremation policy. I gasped for breath. I couldn't breathe. And that, that's, physically, it's difficult. Psychologically, it's frightening. Walking a few feet was very difficult for me. I could not do stairs. Um, I, life was just, you know. I mean, I was grateful for every day I had and every breath I took. That was difficult. Like, uh, that around the back and mop my kitchen floor. I'd have to ask my daughters to do it. Couldn't do my housework. Could only cook one thing at a time. I couldn't cook a whole meal at a time. Just anything. I didn't have a life. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Couldn't do anything. Uh, I live in a two-story home and my office is in the basement. And, and just carrying up uh, a five pound, let's say five pounds of paper, uh, up one flight of steps, I would be out of breath. Just just normal things that, that you do. And, and you're exhausted. And so you have to stop, take a deep breath, and, and just relax for a little bit. I had a sister that died from emphysema. And, and I saw her painful, painful death. She couldn't quit smoking. I quit smoking uh, 18 years ago. Not soon enough. talks to each other and all the physicians and the therapists and the dietitian, everybody just works so closely together with nursing to make sure these patients have a good outcome. We all treat our patients like they're family members and we get to where we care about them and Sherry and I get to spend hours with these patients um, doing the testing that we do so they become friends and we care about them very deeply and want them to be successful. We have a, a very dedicated team and a very diverse team, including things from nutrition and psychology and physical therapy and pulmonary rehab and uh, pulmonary medicine and uh, cardiothoracic surgery and uh, the pharmacist. So we use all the expertise uh, from the cardiothoracic surgery division at SIU and from Memorial Medical Center to give the best of care to these patients. Uh, I wouldn't want to leave out the patient as a team member and their family members. We include them as team members as well so that we all work together to get the best we can for these patients. It's unique, but I think the part of it that's very unique is that we have tremendously dedicated people that have been involved in this program for many, many years. So rattle off many names, but you know, Theresa Boldy came here with me, has been involved since its inception. I mean, Johnny Cauley and Deb, the whole group uh, with rehab. I mean, they're very dedicated people, and, and that's just a few, there are many examples, but I think these people, it's not just a, you know, a 
job. It's really a, almost a calling. I think that you know, certainly it's changed my life. Uh, I've worked with these patients actually since March of 1994. And uh, so many of those patients through the years uh, are my friends and have stayed my friends and I communicate with them and you know exchange Christmas cards. And um, so they become a real part of, of uh, my life. And I, I think that's true probably for many of our team members. I, I can't think of anything more difficult than not being able to catch your breath. And so to be involved in helping patients to breathe easier, that's very rewarding. They look healthier. They look better. They, they can breathe better. They, they, just, they just seem like their outlook's much better. I can, I can take a deep breath now. I can get my breath, you know, hearing those things, um, knowing that they're enjoying their families more. Well, obviously, it's a very rewarding thing. I mean, uh, and I said there's a lot of labor, a lot of effort that goes into this. Uh, but uh, when you see people do well, you feel pretty good about it. They don't feel tough about it all. But, uh, you know, we've had some pretty dramatic results. And uh, not all of them that dramatic, but for the most part, the improvement's been about a 40% improvement in breathing capacity, which is something that's not achievable in medicines or any other way. So it's our, it's pretty rewarding. that goes through this, 
but for me, I think I'm one of the luckiest people alive because I had that surgery.